Okay, hello! Hi guys! Uh, welcome to the Sunday stream. Today we're going to be drawing cats. Uh, give me one second. So let me just, you know, get all the intro stuff out of the way. Hope everyone's doing well. Hope everyone's having a good meowning or after meun. Um, anyways, did you just, did you also know we're not just an art channel, but we're an online art school as well. We have weekly live classes limited to 10 to 12 students for the best learning experience. We have feedback cycles and personal critiques on submitted work and amazing teachers to help you uh, stay accountable and cheer you on. Um, if you would like to support us, feel free to uh, join our Patreon. You can become a winged canvas angel on Patreon and support the channel for only $2 a month. Our mission is to make art education easily accessible to everyone. And with your support, we can continue to create contact for free arts education. Uh, you'll get early access to our videos, some director's cuts, an art working file so you can see behind the scenes and our process. Oh, crap. <laughs> um, as well as <laughs> as well as member discounts on our live virtual classes with feedback cycles that will jumpstart your creative growth. You'll also get a monthly class recording from our live classes, which are only limited to 12 people, so you better get on that quick. Um, and you can follow us at uh, all our socials linked below. Yeah. Phew. <laughs> all right, I guess it could have gone smoother. Oh well. Anyways, I hope everyone's having a nice time. <laughs> Thank you, Liquid Dog. <laughs> we also have our live streams. We're holding live streams on, I think, Fridays as well. And two other streamers that you can watch out for. So, three other streamers you can watch out for. So, you know. Uh, that'll be pretty fun. So, we're drawing cats. So, not biased at all, by the way. I love cats. Um, so, I was really excited to try and uh, do one for today. So, just a couple of things I wanted to point out for some classes. Um, sorry, classes. Cats. For some cats. 
um, little tips and stuff about like how to draw them very well. Obviously there's a bunch of like different ways we can draw them, but um, I know I think this stream specifically is supposed to be like cat breeds, um, but I think I kind of want to show you guys how to draw like just a general cat shape since unlike dog breeds, cat breeds are pretty much uh, only like cosmetically different, as in like the fur color and like maybe the fur length are pretty different. Um, there's there's like the odd cat out with like um, munchkins and like the hairless cats that are a little bit different, but they're still pretty much just like the base cat form, just like kind of messed up a bit. But anyways, so uh, so I drew this little like cat head before class just to kind of give you like an idea of like my general style, I guess. Um, and then we'll kind of try and go a little bit step by step first before we go into some like more cat things because I just really like cats. I don't know. Cats are cute. Um, so basically with this sort of thing, for the general like cat head, like a short haired cat, um, you would just start with generally, you can start with like either like sort of a, like an oval shape if you like, um, depends on like, you know, what might be easiest for you. Thank you, Michael. <laughs> Love you too. Um, and then you'll notice that for like cats in particular, I tend to like to draw them with like a sort of diamond shape, kind of like, you know, this sort of like kind of shape. Um, I just think stylistically it looks really cute. Um, I don't know if you guys can see like my pure ref uh, window up or anything, but in any case, it's fine if you don't. I just think it's like stylistically like a cute thing to do for this sort of diamond shape, like so, with like a pointed chin and stuff. Um, you'll see why later because I think like the cheekbones, I guess, are just like pretty good landmarks for like if you want to design like a cat character, I guess. Okay, that's good. Yeah, so this is like an Ab Abyssinian cat. Um, but I think it's like, you know, for all intents and purposes, the shape of the cat is pretty good. So, you know, we'll just have that there for like fun. So let's see, what was I saying? Diamond shape. Do you guys have cats? Are you guys also cat people? <laughs> Three cats day. And then after the diamond shape, um, for this one, I put the put the eyes like, you know, kind of in like the middle. But so this is like kind of a very like realistic type of proportion. I think we could well I'll, I'll just put this in the middle for now. Um, the cat eyes tend to be like I'm sure like depending like on like the cat eyes are shaped a little bit different, but for, but for the most part, they're kind of like this. I'm sure if you guys, like me, stare into your cat's eyes very often, um, you might feel like your cat's eyes are a little rounder. <laughs> but for the most part, they kind of look like this. So you can stylize this how you choose. I'm just kind of keeping it like this. For the most part, it is kind of in like the middle of this kind of like shape. And as for the pupils, I'm sure most people will do like, you know, these sort of like slit, um, slit pupils, but cats actually only do that when they're like hunting or like are really focused. So you can get away with like something like this. For this one, I just chose like a sort of rounded pointy thing as like some sort of in like in between thing but yeah you know oh yeah best alarm clock <laughs> yeah pretty much i don't even set an alarm clock because every single day at 7 sorry at 659 sharp my cat will jump on my face and be like get up <laughs> it's time you know time to wake the human can opener and then a little before that, 
um, a little after the eyes. Whoops. Will be the nose. You can kind of, if you want, you can draw like this sort of uh, like nose bridge, I guess. This is a st also a stylistic choice, so feel free to sort of do that. And their noses are very cute. They look kind of like undies to me, so we'll stick with that. And then just like their little like lip, I don't know what it's called, but you know, their little lip thingy, their muzzle. And then just right under that, you do their cute little, their little cute little lips. I'm good, Jennifer. Thank you. How are you? Um, came back from a trip recently. I feel like every time I go on these streams, I say that because it's true, but yeah. And then I got the, you know, the plague while I was on the trip. And then, so I was recovering, but I'm okay now. <laughs> and then we have the cat ears, which are just triangles on top. I think you can kind of get away with like, how, like, you know, if you want to put them really on top, uh, you can pretty much choose. Like, I don't think it matters too much. But putting them on the side is also cute, you know? So there's a lot of room for variation for, like, um, if you want to design your cat. Um, something I kind of want to change from, like, the original cat face that I drew before is I think I would want to make it, like, a little bit smaller and lower because I think if you draw their features like to, like closer together like that, it will look like cuter. <laughs> they have, you know, like really big hecking foreheads, you know. Uh, and then you can also like, if you want to stylize it a bit more, you can make their eyes a bit bigger. All depends on like, you know, how you want to draw these cats. And how you want to draw your cat. But yeah, you know. Uh, let's see. So you can... Just swap, like, proportions and stuff around for, like, different designs. This is how you spell it. <laughs> Proportion. Proportion. Like, you know, you can also make like the eyes more wide set, like so. Just for like, you know, different looks and stuff. I think cats are pretty like surprisingly um, versatile with like their designs. So feel free to go wild. <laughs> So I did like want to talk a little bit about like, you know, drawing before I guess we start drawing like a bunch of different cats because, you know, this like the basic cat shape is pretty similar. Um, as you can see, even with like, you know, lions and like little house cats and like baby cats, they pretty much follow the same formula, which is generally something like, uh, like the head and then like sort of there they're like I guess maybe I shouldn't like vary the shape too much lest it be a bit confusing you know their chest and then like you know their their bottoms <laughs> And one thing I wanted to mention, I think, about them was like basically the how to like help you draw like the legs a little bit better. 
where, <laughs> let's be honest, we're just here to look at cats. Very true. And we'll get to that. Believe you me. <laughs> like, I was not going to go through this stream without taking pictures of my cats and then making people look at them. Hehe. <laughs> <laughs> Look at them. So innocent. Anyways, drawing something. Drawing cats, right. <laughs> I should have asked for people to send in cat photos. Uh, anyways, what was I saying? something about legs basically the uh, one thing to note is that like basically like where the their bodies end which is like here that's where the elbow of their like legs of their arms I guess are and personally that helps me figure out how to like deal with this whole thing because I think that's probably like the difficult part um, which is like you know their legs because like they just look really weird sometimes and it's actually similar for the leg too like you'll think that the leg kind of goes like this right but actually the leg kind of goes like like that so that's kind of where the joint is i guess oh i guess the guy they drew it on scar too haha <laughs> i don't know if you like noticed the little like circle thing here but yeah so once you kind of like get, know like that's that where their their tummy is, I guess, uh, where like the end of their body is, that's kind of where the joint of their like legs will start. Then you can kind of measure it a little better. Um, like here's the joints, sort of here. Uh, they kind of go like this. Maybe I should choose a different color. Hopefully this like makes sense. There's a lot of things I want to talk about. Cats because they're so cute. <laughs> Man, I had to like um I have to lock I have to lock them out every time I do a stream, otherwise they'll like come in and be super cute and then I really won't get anything done because I'm just like oh um, and the stream also happens to just uh, land on like their feeding time so you know that makes them doubly <laughs> annoying but I say that with love because I mean I do think you know cats can be annoying but I feel like it's a very like good problem to have so no complaints Play this makes sense. We're like the little babies, baby kittens. Um, you can you can get away with like being a little much more like stylistic and shapely. So. Basically, is it easier to say stomachs than bodies? I mean, bodies. Oh, right, cat faces. <laughs> One thing, I don't know if you guys have ever seen that meme, but like, you know that like one post where some guy was like, oh, like the reason why anime girls are so cute is because they're basically cats. And I think that's really true actually, since, you know, anime girls look 
have big eyes like so and like you know tiny noses and <laughs> you know like so and then maybe they have like the air vent hair which could be cat ears i don't know you know or they could have actual cat ears since you know anime um and like the proportions i think are actually it's ver it's like pretty true i think it basically is the same proportion as like a cat face um where you know draw like their their little diamond face and then their big cat eyes yeah i could i would to i totally believe like people making like well, I guess I don't believe that people make designs based on like the cuteness of cats, but I think cats are have a very like formulaic cuteness like naturally because of their proportions and I that's probably, you know, translates to other things. And you can always play around with it by making like, you know, the eyes like super big and moving the features like lower on the face to make it like extra cute, I think. <laughs> Adding a little. Some details. But yeah, so I think what I was trying to go for, what I was trying to like say was like, you know, basically the gender, like despite like whether you're drawing a lion or, you know, the aristocrats or like a super realistic cat, the general shapes are the same. I think lions do have really broad noses, like that's also just a lion thing, so, you know. But more or less, even big cats and little cats share the same structure. That's the point I was trying to make. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I think the anime girl thing also, like, it will apply to, like, a profile as well, since, like, you know, anime girls look like this. Or something. And cat faces also kind of look like that. Like, their eyes are actually very similar. <laughs> uh, and just a note about, like, super realistic cat eyes is that on their like when they are turned their eye there sometimes it can look a little creepy because their eyes are like this but then their like eyeballs are like <laughs> like that <laughs> so it can look a little interesting but Just a little note if you're interested in drawing very realistic cats. Oh. Okay, so for cats. Alright, this is my cat. His name is Rolex. He's very fluffy, so you might be like. Uh, actually, I'll just start with like. You know, looking at short-haired cats first. So, as you can see, if we want to draw like you know a regular cat, like full body, uh, 
Feel free to draw your cat however you wish. I think making like their heads a little like flatter like that makes them look cuter, so. With cats, I also think like despite like all the details that they have with their bodies. Um, less is more, so drawing like, uh, like you don't have to draw like, you know, their muzzle and then like, their like eye lids, you know, like, <laughs> you can, but like, I don't think it's that necessary, personally. But that might be a good idea for like guides. So here's like, you know, cat head for the cat body. Uh, we'll just remember there's like, cats generally have like a very like rectangular shape. Um, I feel like just getting like, you know, where their body ends is easy because then, like we said, we know where like their joints are gonna be, which means their legs can't really be like too far off the ground. <laughs> Unless you want it to be, of course. So you know generally that they're gonna be the ground will more or less be like something like that. So we know. Cat arms are kind of weird. Uh, I'll pull up. I found like the, the skeleton of a cat as reference if we need it. It might be a little like overwhelming, but don't worry. So, like, you know, generally speaking, this is going to be where they're. Where their paws are. Elbows. Back legs. Another thing that makes drawing cats hard, I think, is because, like, a lot of their, like, even though, like, the, their bone structure is pretty sparse, they have a lot of, like, fur and fat <laughs> that makes them, like, um, kind of difficult to, like, shape out. Because if you drew out, like, every single, like, all their, like, body parts like that, I'm not sure it would look as appealing. But, you know, we'll give it a try. Their backs are also a little interesting because like their their skeleton goes like this but I think because they have like a lot of fur usually all around the neck like their scruff area they'll be like a little like it won't be as like the dip here isn't going to be as uh, apparent so it'll end up looking something like so Something like that, you know? And we love interacting with you, Solaris. I kind of wish, like, that I could stream a little bit more. <laughs> but I'm not sure if I would have, like, the energy for it. Streaming takes a lot of... a lot out of me. Surprisingly. How do you draw cats sitting down? Uh, we'll get to that, hopefully. And then I'll draw like maybe big old eyes. I feel like this cat, the Ab Abyssinian cat, is pretty thin, so we can try to like 
sort of get, get away with thinning the cat out a little bit more. For cat paws, which are like my favorite thing to draw, there's actually a little like um, lift at the back here. Although that's not necessary since it's just like stylistic quirk. I like to, for this part, you can just kind of do like a line, but I know sometimes people will do this little fur here, which I think is so cute. <laughs> And for this part, it's going to be a little bit interesting because uh, the bot, like the stomach of a cat, might actually just be like this, right? Um, but I'm sure you guys who have cats will have noticed that um, they have like the primordial pouch, which kind of goes like this. So they have like, and some, I think some cats can have like a pretty like low too, like that. Um, so you know, don't forget that pre the primordial pouch. then there's the leg paw. to draw the paw I think it's really um, you can think of it as like sort of like a ball of dough that you stick a like a, I don't know like a wooden dowel in so that it has like this sort of like overflow kind of like thing sort of feeling to it like so. And then like to do like the little like claw, like I, I don't know what they're called, their fingers, like they look like each individual like thing. You can just do this sort of line that follows the curve of like this puck sort of shape thing. If it helps, you can also think of it as like a ring. Yeah, I'll try to get like, uh, I'll try to draw a couple of poses. Since cats, you know. Then their tails, very cute. And we have a cat. Okay, so like slap some color on this. We have a pretty good amount of time so I think we'll be able to get to different poses even if I take this little detour. are a little bit
And this cat's eyes are gold, I think, so. Hi, Orange. Thank you for coming. And of course, the pink nose. <laughs> so cute. Label this. For this particular, th um, for this particular cat, I did want to touch upon, like, you know, long haired cats. Um, and there again, we will. T I'll just make you guys look at my favorite long haired cat. One of my favorites, <laughs> for as I talk about it. Um, okay, so. Since, like, you know, short haired cats, we can see most of their bodies. Um, for long haired cats, oh, are the cat's back leg joins the same as their front legs? Um, yeah, no. Um, sort of. It's like... The... Like the... Well, I guess the number of joints are the same, but like the proportions are a little bit different. So they're... They have this sort of like back... Like area that's a bit longer than the front. Um, I'll try and do like a little... If we have time at the end, I'll try and do like a comparison. So as you can see, for like long-haired cats, they have like a lot of fur. Note, my my cat's fur over here looks really hecked up because my mom like tried to give him like a haircut but stopped halfway because it was looking really bad. <laughs> so don't do that. But um, for the most part, because they like... Um, longer cats are so fluffy it can be hard to draw them because you can't really see like the individual like parts sometimes so what you would usually do is just wing it really um, <laughs> um let's see there's a bunch of ways you can like stylize the the fluff um as you see fit for the most part I like to, I prefer drawing like with like, I guess, harder shapes. So I will tend to just just make them uh, you know, a little bit fluffier like so. This is also why I feel like a lot of um, cats seem really fat, like fluffy cats, but they're not. They just have a lot of fluff. That's what I, you know, that's what I stay, stand by with my cat, by the way. He's not fat at all. He's just fluffy. <laughs> He does have very huge paws, though. For his, like, size, I think. As you can see, just that adds like a couple of <laughs> adds a couple of pounds, I guess. 
But you know, like uh, like we said, it's your choice how much you want to add. And how you want to stylize it. I think actually Rolex would have like it's kind of messy looking. I call him every day, but still. Do you guys have like short hair cats or long hair cats? Oh, a hairless cat, yeah. Maybe I should. <laughs> Orange cats are so sweet. And like, you know, I say this with also with a lot of love, but I feel like a lot of orange cats are also a little not as smart as non-orange cats. <laughs> I feel like that's been the case with mine anyways. And I say it with love. Rolex was a... Um, he's supposed to be half ragdoll and half Maine Coon or like, I don't know, his previous owner was like... like he's 90% Maine Coon, which I don't understand how that percentage works. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure he's like... I think she was just lying to me. I think he's just a regular cat. I think he is part ragdoll since I know his mom looks like one, but... Um, don't know about his dad. He has brown eyes, actually. What am I doing? And of course, he has a cute little M. My little guy. Okay, so I think next was cat sitting down. Man, he is sitting down in this picture. I should have just drawn him like this. <laughs> Man. Anyways. Alright, so we have our little cat head. When cats sit, they're kind of like... They, they have like this sort of like hump. Thing at the at their back so I'm sure like you've seen like cat statues which are like they look very like stylized like so but 
but this part is pretty correct, so... Make sure you keep that. Then, like, here. I actually feel like, like the mistake I make the most is making the neck too long. I think it's, like, good for, like, stylizing, but we'll see if this works out. Um, for the most part, I think the hump is, goes a little, like, higher. Mostly it's just like their their like spine bending like this, and then their feet, which is like this area right here. Their haunches, I think that's what it's called, will just be like here. And they're like... This part is like the weird part because their legs will fold up like this. I think their legs are usually like... They have reference, so I guess we can see. So their legs will generally be like this, like when it's just standing. And then when like they sit down, it kind of like folds up, so... To like something like... <laughs> like that, which can be kind of... Difficult to like, imagine, since it's like... Something, something like so. Their paws. So it can be kind of difficult to like figure out like like how the heck would this look like from this angle because there's a lot of complex shapes hanging out there. And I think it's easy to think of it like if you're like a human sitting like this you know, it kind of looks like a cat, right? But then their like legs or their pa their paws are like able to like stick out like so. And then usually like they have their like front paws here, so you don't have to deal with whatever is going around here. Does that make sense? Back leg standing. Back leg. Sit. Sort of, at least. Maybe... You know, this is our knee. And then our toes. Then I can this seems like a Siamese cat to me, so <laughs> Thank you, no name. I'm glad you're enjoying the stream. I would like to get better at streaming. Um I'm like pretty introverted, I guess, so like talking aloud to people is really terrifying 
um, to me. Um, but I think streaming helps. And you guys are always so nice. So like, after every single stream, like before stream, I'm always like really like, you know, like worked up. But then after stream, I'm always like, it was fine. <laughs> I don't know why I spent had to spend like, you know, the whole day like being nervous about it. Like, I'm definitely the kind of person who's like, you know, I have like a like a meeting at like 5 p.m. and then I just spend like the whole day like, oh my god, <laughs> just can't do anything else like but worry. <laughs> So yeah, hopefully did that make sense. Do you guys have any more questions about like leg sitting? I actually don't know if like I went over it like like in a way that made sense. Yeah, definitely. It's like I feel like streaming is like it's like pub like public speaking light. <laughs> so Pretty cool. And it helps, I guess, that I get to like talk about cats. Like, just for like an hour and a half. It's very nice. Yeah, this is like a stylistic choice. So I think if like you want to be more realistic, it would be more like something like here. <laughs> quite a reduction uh, and most of the time I don't actually think cat necks are that visible so like it might be like thicker too you know like so I look before Ooh, that was kind of long huh I guess it's fine as well I might need to move this up a little as well. For the most part, I think when they're sitting as well, like you don't really need to, you don't see that much since like the fur covers so much of like their body. Most of the time it will cover like the fold of their leg too, so I see it will probably be like just... It can will like disappear into like, you know. But you know, just so you know like what's going on in here sort of. Siamese cats. I used to watch this show when I was younger called like Sagwa and I remember like it was my favorite show just because it was about cats and cartoons. <laughs> yeah! To this day, I remember so clearly how cute she was, and I like that probably solidified like why I wanted a cat so badly when I was young. I wanted a sagua of my own, something like that.
and the ears. Pink nose. There we have our little Siamese cat. Clean up a little bit. <laughs> they are! They are very sweet cats. Very active and very cool. If I ever get a third cat, I think I will. I would like a Siamese cat. <laughs> I can probably add in the leg behind as well. I might choose like a just a darker color. shadow. But yeah. Okay, cat standing. Or sorry, cat sitting. We wanted cat sleeping. <laughs> yeah. I have two, so perfect timing. We have this is my other cat. Um his name is Pollux. He's younger than Rolex and not as um not as shameless as this one, but so he sleeps a lot in these like curled up poses. And for the most part, it's also like because they're so fluffy, it's difficult to see like where all like where their legs are going and stuff. But um for the most part, I think, you know, we've all seen our little babies curled up into like little circles. So that's also pretty easy sometimes cuz then Maybe not with like this pose that I have here, but you know, you have your little circle. All you really need to sort of figure out is like where the head is, which can be difficult, and like where their leg is. So this is like sometimes they'll just be like ears might stick out, circle, and then their legs, just um, and then their tails, like. It also depends how much of like whether like they'll be like in their leg or whatever. But we'll just do this for now. Oh, wrong layer. Just try like their head, they'll usually be on like their side, so it'll be like a side sort of profile. And then you just draw like a circle. <laughs> and then probably their legs, something like that. Don't worry about like where their paws go, because you can draw their tail. And then maybe their ears are sticking out. And if you want, their like shoulders, their arms will probably be like here. That you just like remember a lot, so that when you're drawing, like fleshing the shape out a little bit. Then you'll, you'll just kind of like kind of have like it, remember where, um, what parts to like design and stylize. Uh, when like drawing like their faces, I like to remember that they have, you know, really cute like pinchable cheeks. So like their eyes are going to be a little like curled.
then they have their cute little ears. Their tail. Something like that. And there we have our little cat, sleeping cat. I want to like break down a little bit of what a cat looks like when they're like curled up. cat is doing like this <laughs> this looks kind of crazy but so his shoulders are like here and then his body his tail That everything else is just fluff, so. So, as you can see, like his tummy would be here, but it's just like you can barely see it because it's just fluffy. Do you use a uh, tablet screen, uh, crumpets? That's probably that's probably why it seems like I have control. Screen tablets don't require too much experience to use, so if you ever want to try one, um, it can be pretty fun, but um, just using a regular graphic tablet is fine too, I think. You guys don't have to deal with like the... like. So I know some people um, don't like using screen tablets because like the ha your hand gets in the way, so that might be something helpful. 
that you might not have realized. Screen tablets give you the option of working without looking at the screen. Um, yes, sort of. Um, so with most screen tablets, you'll get like the program, at least for me, um, and it will detect monitors basically because your screen tablet is an extra monitor. So you'll have like you know your computer tablet, like or sorry, your comp your computer monitor, and then like you know your screen tablet, right? Um, you can select like which um, screen, I guess, is gonna be like like which where the style like when you move like your pen over this, it will it, you can make it so that it will move like the cursor like on like the the, the screen as well. But I feel like it is a little bit redundant because. You could all, like you don't need the screen tablet to do this. You could just get like a cheaper graphics tablet and do the exact same thing. Um, so like yes, but yeah. Cheaper is not necessarily like worse either, because like the screen tablet that I have is like the Huon, which is like considerably cheaper than the Wacom that. Um, has been so prevalent and it is wonderful definitely like if you guys are like interested in looking for um, more affordable options I would definitely look at like the Huon uh, in particular they have a lot like the I think gra like regular graphics tablets are also getting a lot cheaper so it is the age of digital art. <laughs> it's the program, not the tablet brand. Um, it's like the it's like the program that comes with the tablet that makes it so that your tablet can like work, connect to the like the driver, I should say. Um, but then like you need like the tablet of that like to use the driver, you know? Does that make sense? Although I'm sure there's like other, there's, I'm sure there are ways to like do what you're saying without like a screen tablet. depends on like your process so don't let people like tell you like oh if you don't have a screen tablet then like you can't be a professional or something untrue I just use a screen tablet because um, I'm just used to it
don't know what kind of pose this should be. Like, cat resting pose. Hi, Kenny. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Thank you for coming to the stream. Glad this like stream came at the right time then. drawn a cat crouching pouncing yet? Uh, not yet. We'll see if we can get to that. Yeah, I feel like animals are pretty tough to, tr to learn, but very interesting. Especially, I feel like comparing them to, like, drawing comparisons between human anatomy and animal anatomy is pretty helpful uh, for me personally. It is like very weird. It's interesting though, so I think that helps me specifically. Polex is a um a uh, cream ragdoll, but it's very, very light, but he has like, he's like mismarked, so he probably can't really, I feel like, um, even though he's like a wonderful can't, because like his markings are a little bit off, he can't really be in any like show, cat show as a ragdoll, because he just like, he doesn't have the right markings <laughs> and he would be penalized for it and then every time I think about that I'm like huh but I think he's like I think he should win all the prizes being a sweet cat it's very light colored as well I'm just, like it's hard like most people are just like I like your white cat, but he's actually like orange. <laughs> it's hard to see though. All 
All right. Uh, do we have time to do? We'll see. Let's try to make a race of it if we can do like crouching. Do you mean like, um, like a uh, sort of like hunting or like loafing? <laughs> yes, compliment my cats. They're so cute. Not a single thought between those ears. Loafing, okay. So I think a loaf is pretty uh, much simpler than like all the other stuff we've been drawing since you don't really have to uh, think about the like their their legs, which I feel like their legs are like the worst part. So really, draw your little cat head. Then you can just kind of draw their chest area and their butt area like a bean like a peanut and then pretty much this is your like you can stop here this is your loaf <laughs> uh, most of the time I think they will curl their tails around so they'll be really close to their bodies like they don't I don't think I don't think they usually do anything like weird with their tails they just will just do something like this so you don't really even have to worry about their tails if you want to like, you know, make it like extra cute, you can draw like just like their little paws folded in like so. Um, this is a little bit, slightly more challenging. You really only have to do like these little, little like ovals for like their paws because you don't have to like worry about like too much about like the anatomy of it because they're just cute little paws. But they, their arms are like kind of folded out or like their elbows, I guess, are like visible. So, you just I, I would indicate it with like this sort of thing here, but you don't have to, depending on how you stylize it. Like so. And then if you want, you can indicate their like haunches, their legs here. It would be like something like this, I guess. But, you know, sometimes less is more, so you don't necessarily have to uh, show all these parts. And of course, you know, digital age, so you can always you can edit this a little bit. <laughs> that makes sense. Thank you, Jennifer, for saying my cats are cute. They are. <laughs> For their paws, you can just kind of... I think this is enough. <laughs> Little nuggets. Uh, bye, blood so soda pop. <laughs> Sorry. Sometimes I just say, I just make sounds. I don't know. <laughs> Are we doing anatomy? Uh, we were doing it a little bit earlier. Now we're doing cat poses. It's okay, it'll be timestamped and I'll upload some of the notes into the discard so you don't miss too much.
I might be a little too big. <laughs> cats are love, cats are life. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, all of you kiss your cats for me. Give them extra treats. Um, if we have enough time. I'll see if I can draw another fluffy cat within 10 minutes. <laughs> I'm glad too. Hopefully, like, hopefully it's not too obvious how much I like cats. <laughs> Oh, yes. Oh, I can pull it back for you in a second. Uh, we went briefly over just like... Uh, just going um, over like how despite, you know, lions, cats, kittens, realistic, cartoony, they generally share the same, like, these same uh, principles. Um, the like I never know how to describe it the the like the tallness of the cat where their like body ends like their stomach I guess that's where the joints will usually like start roughly because you know animals move and stuff but that's basically like a good landmark for how to like where the um, arms will kind of start because everything but above that is going to be like the shoulder. It's like your cat's shoulder. Uh, and yeah, and like, you know, for babies, everything is just squished up and like, you know, the proportions are a little bit different, but more or less the same. Um, cats are interesting because um, unlike dog breeds, cats generally have the same structure, even if they're like, even like among big cats and like little cats and stuff. So, you know. It, this is it, you know, so you don't have to worry about too much. Uh, and these are just like, you know, going over the face of the anatomy of anime girl faces and cat faces. <laughs> like so. And then this was just a little bit of what a cat's leg does when you like, when they sit. Sort of. This is probably not actually a very good um, description diagram of it since I think it would be more like I'll, I'll maybe I'll redraw it before I post it because I feel like it's not quite correct so it would be something like more like that well Sometimes I still get like messed up by it because like they are really Yeah, like this. Okay. Yeah, it's weird. And this is here. Like that. Mm 
Something like that. Because, like, the bones are kind of... Like, more here. I'm not doing a good job, like, drawing this out. Like... Something like that. Anyways, I'll go like redraw it before I post it. Dang, where's the lineup for this? Calico? I do also really love Calico cats. I think they're so cute. Known a lot of sweet tabbies as well. I think these are the sketches. Yeah. Okay. I have to do some cropping with these as well.
just cleaning up the layers now. Did we like go over today that I should probably write down? Uh, it together. we've been drawing along, is there a place to post the results? Yes, feel free to post on our um, channel Discord. We have really cute um, separated channels for everything, so feel free to post those um, and tag us if you like. Do we have a tutorial on birds? Um, I don't think so, but we could add that to the like list of video ideas. That's a pretty good one. Birds are pretty cool too. And with that, we are finished. So thanks for coming. Um, really glad that uh, so many of you guys joined me here today. Feel free to join us again on Friday and next Sunday, or like on the Discord. Um, we hang around there. So if you want to chat, let's chat, etc. Yeah. Thank you again for uh, attending. It means a lot to me, and I'm really grateful for everybody's kindness and patience. So, yeah! <laughs> I'll see you guys later! Goodbye!